win the prize. In a carnival booth, you can win a stuffed giraffe if you toss a quarter into a small dish. The dish is on a shelf above the point where the quarter leaves your hand and is a horizontal distance of 2.1 meters from this point. If you toss the coin with a velocity of 6.4 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees above the horizontal, the coin will land in the dish. Ignore air resistance. A bit. What is the height of the shelf above the point where the quarter leaves your hand? B bit. What is the vertical component of the velocity of the quarter just before it lands in the dish? This is you. That means the person who is tossing the quarter. Quarter is a coin. So the person is tossing the coin. And then if the coin lands in the tray or the dish, then he will win the giraffe, a toy giraffe. And now here the data is given as the coin is tossed with a velocity, initial velocity of 6.4 meters per second, making an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. Okay. And the horizontal distance between the coin and the dish is 2.1 meters. The question is, how high is the dish from the point of tossing the coin. This is the point where the coin is tossed. So from this point to this dish, this is the horizontal height we have to find out. And this is the vertical height. Vertical height we have to find out. And uh, the second thing is, what will be the velocity of the coin just before it lands in the dish? So these two points we have to find out. Now, see, let us see here. This is the uh, picture I have drawn. Okay. So if you see this one, this is the coin. Okay. This is the initial velocity VI making an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal and the coin is going like this. So this is the X component velocity and this is the Y component velocity. Now, X component velocity is this is the uh, right angle triangle and this is the adjacent side to the given angle. Therefore, this will be VIX is equal to VI cos theta. And then VIY is equal to this is opposite side. Therefore, this will be VI sin theta. Okay. So, here you see the data. I have written the data. Initial velocity VA is equal to 6.4 meters per second. And then it is making the velocity. We are uh, tossing the coin with a velocity of 6.4 meters per second, uh, making an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. Therefore, angle is equal to 60 degrees. So the horizontal velocity VAX is equal to VA cos theta is equal to 6.4 meters per second cos 60 degrees. Okay, this gives 3.2 meters per second. Next, horizontal distance is given to us, so 2.1 meters. Now we will find out the time, okay, how much time it takes to uh, land in the dish. The time we can find out from the horizontal distance and then horizontal velocity. We know velocity is equal to displacement over time. And then here the displacement is the distance traveled. You know? So this is the 2.1 meters. And then velocity is, just now we found the velocity as 3.2 meters per second. So T is equal to uh, displacement over velocity. Therefore, 2.1 by 3.2 is the time uh, time of travel of the coin to before uh, to before landing in the tray. Okay, this much of time it takes to land in the tray horizontal distance to travel the horizontal distance. Now we have the vertical velocity. What is the vertical velocity? Vertical velocity V A by is equal to V A sin theta. Okay, so this is equal to 6.4 meters per second sine 60 degrees. That is equal to 5.54 meters per second. To find the vertical height, this height, this is the height. This is the H. Okay, I represented this as the delta Y. Okay, to find this one, we use the formula Vfy square is equal to Viy square plus 2a delta Y. Here, Vfy is equal to 0 because at the highest point, the velocity becomes 0. And VIY is given to us. Okay, we already found out it is 5.54 meters per second. 
and then acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration is equal to acceleration due to gravity. That is negative 9.8 meters per second square. I took negative because as the coin goes up, the velocity decreases. The final velocity is less than the initial velocity. Therefore, acceleration is equal to negative. Okay, that is why I took minus 9.8 meters per second square. Now I have to find out the height. H is equal to, or delta Y is equal to 5.54 square divided by 19.6 gives 1.56 meters. This is the answer for the first bit. Okay, and then next, the second bit. What is the second bit? He is asking us to find out the vertical component of the velocity of the, quad, uh, the coin just before it lands in the dish. So for that, what I do is I use the formula Vf is equal to Va plus Cat. Here the vertical velocity, you know, so I am writing Vfy is equal to Viy plus Cat. Therefore, Vfy is equal to Viy is 5.54 and then acceleration due to gravity is a negative 9.8 and T is equal to 2.1 by 3.2. Therefore, Vfy is equal to negative 0 0.89 meters per second. Okay, this is the answer for this question. Hope this helps. Thank you.